What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Dre. AKA Moses Malone and the women and we got my main man here Chris Well, what you like to tell the people out there and what's up it's your boy Lucius Lovebo aka Lovebo. Chris First Speaks, Speaks. AKA, AKA Yeah, so we out here, you know what I'm saying? We got some very very important stuff to talk about So we are recording this on a Tuesday, so on Monday there was a stabbing at Northwest What do, what do you think about this Chris? Um, I think stuff's getting real over there. I think like, stuff is getting real everywhere, personally. You got to give me my honest opinion. Um, I don't, you see, this is why I hate this reading, like, going online and looking up stuff. Because from multiple websites, like, on one, 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 uh, on one website, they said that she was a sophomore, the girl who got stabbed. They said she was a junior, and one said that she was a senior, and I'm like, which one? Which one you know what I'm saying? So um, I know that that the girl who stabbed her, she was 17. So I mean, if that adds a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And this is not allegedly. Like this, this happened. Like this is on the news and everything. And the girl was on critical. Like she was in critical condition. And um, do you think that like everywhere they should have metal detectors in like the schools? Yeah, to an extent. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't want our like like the entrances to our schools like to become like LAX, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I wouldn't mind it because it like you know adds safety to our school. That would just be kind of harder though, like the way people kids flood in the school like in the beginning of the day, like that'd be hard to be able to check every single student. Well, I think that they should have like like stations like one. Like people, they walk through the detectors. Some they get like wanded down or something like that. I don't know how like they they'd work that out. I feel like instead of like that, they should have like rolling cameras constantly, like someone watching the cameras. Because honestly, like if there were cameras, you probably could have seen. It was probably a group of girls going in there, probably for like a body or fight or something, and it just got out of hand. And I mean, personally, I feel like I mean. Like the whole camera situation, I rather have like metal detectors in like the school, cause like I remember one time I went to like North for like a basketball game, and before you can get in, you get like metal detectors and stuff like that. So I think I like, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind it, cause it obviously adds more safety. Yeah. I think it's you know, more like depending on your school too. Like if you're still, I mean, it's more considered like ghetto. No. Like per, no, no I mean personally, it should just be for all schools, right? I I don't think that oh, just OPS should do it. Even the OPS has like a bad like reputation, but I just think they're all schools because like it doesn't matter because like all schools can, you know, this can happen to pretty much every school. It doesn't matter like what it is. So I don't think that you know it's just OPS. I think yeah. it's everyone should do that. Because sure. I mean, would you want to get shot up, Chris? I would not. No. Exactly. I'm suing. Not if you're dead. It's true. It is true. Alright, so next topic, right? Even, I mean, you see, I, we're not even gonna lie. Me and Chris are not good with the politics, but we love hating on politics. So, what did you think of last night, Chris? What was Trump versus, versus Hillary? Who, first of all, who are you going for? I'm honestly not going for either of them. Yep, like, they're no. both kind of garbage to me. Um, but. from. You see, because people are always like, so I like, I mean, you can't really, crit you can't really critique the president if you can't do better. The thing is, I'll never run for president. I know that for a fact. I'm not running for president at all. Yeah. So I can hate on presidents if I want to. First of all, I can't even vote. So, like, exactly. why do I care? Why, why should I care about that? Yeah. But, like, both of them are running for presidents because they have money. They're not running for president because they're like, oh, I'll be a good leader. No, they're running because they want to be a higher power. Um, that's, like, that's basically what, like, Trump is trying to do. I mean... Basically, the reason why I don't like Hillary, well, I mean, I mean, this is not like sexist at like all, right? But I just don't like want a female president. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I just don't want to. Because when George Washington was president, like, 
not that, like he thought that you know like men were always going to be president. So I mean, but he also kind of argue that, and he can say that he never thought that there was going to be a black president. But that's different. He's because he's actually a man. But I mean, yeah. what happened if you were from like another country and you saw that like another country had like a like a woman as a president? Like, what would you do? Like, what would you think of that company, like that country? Well, like I would honestly think like I don't I don't I don't know how to reply to like like I don't know that, like when women are moving up in the social ladder now and like workplaces and stuff and I'm all for that. And so they. Oh yeah, I'm all for that. Like but, them moving up, you know, like more. cause like I don't mind like a, like a female being like a senator, something like that. But the president, no, I just don't see that personally. Then from another personal standpoint, Donald Trump. I don't think that like anybody truly like likes Donald Trump, really. You know, some people are just just like bandwagons and stuff like that, really. But. No, I, I completely despise Trump. I don't want either. People say you gotta pick one. I'm like, no, I don't want either. I would have to go for Hillary more than Trump. Although, like, people are saying, oh yeah, if Trump gets pregnant, I mean, get, becomes president, like, he's gonna build walls, he's gonna do all this, but really, it's not his decision. Like, he could. Judicial system. Yeah, like, he could, like, suggest it, but mm -hmm. if, like, all like the senators and all the other people who like are high powers in the government, if they all say no, yeah, he they, can't do nothing. Yeah, they it's not he can be like, oh, I'm president, so we're doing it. No, he really has no power. Right. He's just the face of the United States. I just, I just don't like Trump as a person. Like, you know, he's not a real good leader personally. Like, ain't no like, like, like to me, a president can't be a savage. You know what I'm saying? Like when people thought like when like Obama was gonna be in like the White House, he thought that like he was gonna be doing like quote unquote black things. But when he did it, people were like, "This dude cool." So why, so why isn't he doing like black things? Like, cause Obama was not all the way black, and even if he was all the way black, that doesn't mean anything. Personally, he knew going into president he couldn't act. Like, I'm not saying like he did act ghetto like before presidency, but. No, no one going in that he couldn't like act all ghetto like. Cause like doing Obama, all that cause like Obama, like I don't think ghetto is like a good word to describe because Obama's not ghetto at all. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Like he is black, but he wasn't like you know he wasn't like raised on that like side. No, and so, so he doesn't like have that or whatever. But I mean Michelle is though, but you don't see Michelle acting like that because people thought like when he was getting like the White House. He was going to be doing all this stuff. He was going to be wilding out, but he actually is. So people got mad at that. I'm like, how are you going to get mad at that? You're trying to be a good president, you know? So that I think that that's really stupid. But as far as I go, I'm moving to Canada, so it doesn't really matter. This wraps up Dre's Weekly Dose, the extra official podcast. Guaranteed to make you laugh. This kind of man with the suits. Hold up. Whipped cream. Whipped cream? That's whipped cream. Who runs like a boss? Boss. Yow. Boss.